If I would ask you what the largest AI company of the future would be, you would instinctively say NVIDIA or maybe Apple or OpenAI, Microsoft and so on and so forth. But what if I told you that it will be Tesla instead of those previously mentioned companies that will become the first true AI company? Yes, Tesla. As a first reaction, you might say that I'm insane or that I'm exaggerating. But hear me out. We know that Tesla started as a car company. The mission was to build affordable electric cars for the masses and hence to accelerate our transition to sustainable transportation. A mission which I dare say has been accomplished impressively. All car makers around the world have switched to building electric cars, thanks only to the initial impetus of Tesla. Without the Tesla Model S or Model 3, and most importantly, latest, the Model Y, which is by the way the best-selling car in the world, the legacy car makers would never have seriously started producing electric cars, or if, then much later than what happened in our timeline thanks to Tesla. But as time progressed, Tesla moved further away from being a pure car maker. In 2016, Tesla had acquired Solar City, reorganizing the solar business into what is now called Tesla Energy. And Tesla Energy is growing at a rapid pace. In the second quarter of 2024, Tesla Energy amounted to 21.73% of the total revenue of the company, which is quite an incredible growth. Ok, so Tesla builds cars and deploys batteries for renewable energy power plants, but as we know, they sometimes also install solar roofs. Ok, sure, not as many as planned, but still. And they are also an insurance company with their car insurance plans. But what if I told you that 10 years from now, all of that could be just a funny little side business for Tesla, and that their true revenue powerhouse could be in the field of AI. Ok, but what kind of AI? Well, what is AI even? These days, it is the absolute buzzword. Every company wants to include it in some form because the mere mentioning of the word already makes the stock value of the company go up. But the AI that is currently mentioned everywhere like 500 times per day is basically just a glorified pattern recognition algorithm. So, the way this works is that a neural network is being trained by analyzing a very high amount of certain patterns. In the case of ChatGPT, it is being trained by using millions of examples of natural language conversations. In the case of Tesla Full Self Driving, Tesla's neural network is being trained by analyzing millions of hours of people driving and how they react in certain situations. The more data, therefore, is being used to train the neural network, the more reliable the FSD algorithm then becomes, the less mistakes it thus will make. The resulting algorithm is then often branded as AI by many companies. Which is a bit of a misleading term because this is not true artificial intelligence in a general sense, but really a very narrow, specialized form of AI which can only create things based on having been trained with a very large amount of data. So in short, in the world of AI, data is king. The more data you have to train your neural network, the better and more human-like your AI algorithm will become. ChatGPT does not really know what it is saying or the meaning of the words, but based on having been trained on millions of sentences, it understands the relationship of the words to each other and thus can construct sentences. So why am I telling you all this? Well, because guess who has the most amount of proprietary data on this planet? Yes, that's right, Tesla. Sentences are freely available, spoken conversations as well, but what is not freely available are millions upon millions of hours of real-world driving data from Tesla cars currently already on the roads. And this is what Tesla can use to make its AI algorithm increasingly better, until at some point it becomes better than a human. 
If you've watched YouTube videos of people driving around with Tesla's latest full self-driving software called FSD 12.4.2, you will see that the number of interventions necessary is already very low. For most drives, no interventions are necessary anymore, in most cases, only in very difficult situations such as for example a dense downtown area with lots of traffic and pedestrians, interventions in such cases are still necessary. But also, the number of those is decreasing continuously, it seems, with every new FSD release. So, since Tesla has the most proprietary data, this will therefore of course give them a huge advantage when it comes to full self-driving. The culmination of this will be the Tesla Robotaxi or Cybercab. This will be a real-world usable product that is going to revolutionize the way we move around in cities. And it is where Tesla will therefore have a huge advantage compared to other robotaxis because the others just don't have all the data that Tesla has. So Tesla robotaxis can therefore reach an incredible accuracy and the robotaxi AI, if you want to call it that, will at some point be trained much more than other robotaxi AIs. They will have to rely on additional sensory data from LIDARs or radar and will most likely not feel as smooth and natural and human-like. Another application of Tesla's data advantage will of course be the Optimus robot. When that robot is going to be released, which will happen at some point in this decade, Tesla has the insane advantage that they just can use the same approach that they used for their full self-driving. They can use the same approach for their Optimus robot. They employ the same hardware and they can simply teach the robot movements by just training it with countless videos of human movements. So the robot learns movements the same way that the FSD computer learns full self-driving from countless of real-world driving videos. So the more Tesla trains the robot, showing it how to perform tasks, showing it how humans move, the better it will become. So Tesla by the end of this decade will have two crazy products that are entirely based on an ever-improving AI, Cybercab and Optimus. These products will allow for an incredible productivity growth of unimaginable proportions. The bot will boost productivity like never before, boosting industrial output in factories all around the globe and later by helping people with everyday tasks so that the people have more time to do meaningful stuff instead of having to clean, for example, the apartment. Cybercab will increase productivity as well by allowing people to work while on a commute and by allowing basically everybody to become a taxi fleet operator. Meanwhile, the companies that we today think of AI companies will be stuck to software-based solutions. Yes, sure, future chat GPT versions will be even more impressive. Sure, future Siri iterations will allow for lifelike communication with your phone. But the real productivity boost will come from real-world applications. And for that, you need large-scale physical hardware in the form of machines, cars, robots, drones and such. And the amount of data that Tesla can collect in order to improve its fleet of cars and robots and in the future maybe even drones or other things will just keep growing while the competition will at some point have reached a limit on what they can do with their software. Tesla has hardware and software while others mostly only have hardware or software. That is something that people massively underestimate when they talk about Tesla. They still see Tesla mostly as a car maker. This last quarter has shown that Tesla is expanding more and more into other business areas and now is a meaningful player in energy storage. In five years, Tesla will be a gigantic player in the field of AI solutions, thanks to Cybercab and Optimus. It will therefore become the first true AI company because these products will usher in a productivity boost like back in the industrial revolution. The future will be really insane and I think that Tesla is once again going to lead the way. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. 
since we're going to continue putting out lots of videos on fascinating and disruptive developments in the world of technology. All the best and see you next time.